Hello everyone, welcome to Topic of the Day. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the S-400 missile system. Now recently, the US has decided not to impose sanctions under its stringent law, that is Katsa, for purchasing the S-400 missile systems from Russia. Now here we are talking about Katsa Act, that is countering America's adversaries through Sanctions Act. So let us discuss in brief about this topic. The US House of Representatives passed a legislative amendment waiving off any punitive sanctions on India under the Katsa Act. And the reason for this is cited as India being an important security partner in the Indo-Pacific region. India has signed a $5 billion deal with Russia for purchase of 5 units of the S-400 missile systems. Now what is Katsa? This act was brought in the year 2017 and provides for punitive actions by US against any country striking defence and intelligence deals with Russia, Iran and North Korea. In the year 2020, Turkey was sanctioned for its purchase of S-400 system. Now, if we talk about S-400, it is one of the most lethal mobile long-range surface-to-air missile systems. It is equipped with four different missiles and it can engage enemy aircraft, ballistic missiles, an airborne warning and control systems plane at 400 km, 250 km, medium range 120 km and short range 40 km. Now the question is, why does India need S-400? Firstly, it is important for national security considering India is facing a dual threat at two fronts from Pakistan and China. Secondly, it is to fulfill the gaps that of Indian Air Force in the defence capability. Also, this is much superior than the US anti-ballistic missile defense system, which is known as THAAD, that is the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, and the Patriot Advanced Capability 3, that is PAC-3, and also the Israel's Iron Dome. So firstly, this is more robust and superior. Secondly, there is no aerial vehicle in the world which can travel beyond these limits. Thirdly, the entire system is autonomous and does not require human interference. And fourthly, this system cannot share the data with other systems deployed in the vicinity. Now let us talk about India's defence collaboration programmes. Firstly, we have the BrahMos cruise missile programme, that is Sukhoi Su-30 and tactical transport aircraft. Secondly, we have the joint exercises between two armed forces that are held under the title Indira. Also, India and Russia signed a military tech cooperation agreement in the year 2021-2031 during the Maiden 2 plus 2 dialogue in December 2021. We also have the AK-203 assault rifle that is to be manufactured in Amethi in Uttar Pradesh as a part of joint venture with Russia. Further on, there are four Grigorovich class frigates, that is two frigates for Indian Navy worth $1 billion that are to be manufactured in Russia and the other two in Goa and this deal was signed in the year 2018. We have the nuclear-powered submarine. That is, in the year 2019, India signed a $3 billion deal with Russia for leasing a nuclear-powered submarine. The Chakra 3, a cooler-class submarine is expected to be delivered by the year 2025. So this was a little bit about the S-400 missile defence system. Now let us take up one practice question on this topic. Which of the following air defence system are currently matched with their developing countries? First is THAAD with South Korea, Iron Dome Israel and S-400 Russia. Now choose the correct answers using the codes given below. You can take a moment and write your answers in the comment section. So as we know the correct answer is B, that is Iron Dome is for Israel and S-400 that is from Russia. Third is from US and not from South Korea. Therefore, the correct answer is 2 and 3 only, that is option B. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.